Hello lovelies, it is G here from Golden Thread Tarot and I'm here to bring you another channeled message. I hope that this message is running you blessed, full of abundance as always, my sweets, okay? So, how did you guys feel during this past new moon that we just had on the 14th? Um, if you're watching this in the future, we just had a new moon in Virgo, I think it was, new moon in Virgo, and interesting. Everything is in retrograde right now. I was very thankful when Venus went direct, you know, uh, Mercury just went direct, thank goodness, just yesterday. Um, but we still have a lot of stuff, a lot of the bigger planets still in retrograde. So let's go. Um, I want to talk about the Jupiter retrograde right now that's coming forward. Spirit is saying that there is a project or there's something coming up. If you really work hard on it, this is going to give so much back to you. Like it's really going to have you in a really high vibration and it definitely is a part of your path. You feel it, you feel it, you feel guided towards it. You feel happy every time you think about doing it or doing a project around it or, you know, like taking a class on this subject or whatever it is, you know, whatever it is the spirit is asking you to do. Um, you're being guided towards it. So Spirit is saying, yeah, this is going to be a gift. It's a gift being given to you. So don't pass this opportunity by, right? You have an opportunity right now. Yeah, because look, it's an opportunity to really manifest in this uh, this um, privileged lady because at the back of the deck right here is the Queen of Pentacles, right? So it's this privileged lady, Queen of Pentacles, you're just being asked to kind of like overcome something right now to really face down your fears and yeah. Um, it might feel like an uphill burden or it might feel like something in the past that has felt like really hard for you to, it's been a, a lack of abundance. It's been something that may, it may be even something that you have like a poverty mindset about. Okay. Um, um, it, and poverty mindset doesn't have to always be about money. It can always, it's just about a lack, right? It's about a lack, having a lack mindset. This could be around friendships, relationships, money, um, like health body your body looking the way that you want it to or your personality or having the ability to really be the person that you really want to be you know i wish i didn't do this or i didn't do that it really holds me back this could be about self-sabotage you know it could be about success it could be about career it could be about saving it could be about traveling there's a lot of things that it could be about so let it apply to you as it does in your life right but you are manifesting in so many opportunities here and I, I, you are manifesting an opportunity to really come out of the cold here, to really come out of some kind of abandonment or some kind of lack energy, right? Feeling left out in the cold, right? And so spirit is saying, hey, now is the time to really conquer those fears, to really go out there and make a plan, set a plan and really get into this uh, king of wands energy of this like masculine energy of going in diving in doing what you need to do like really fo having follow through and really creating like a plan because that's what's happening right here right they're planning you know they're laying out their plan to conquer the world like this guy and his cat right <laughs> so just you know lay lay out your plan and this could also be about traveling this is a real energy it's, it's, a, it's a real big energy here because i'm getting emphasis on both of these on this wand energy it's like an ace of wands it's like following that passion following that happiness following that drive right because your soul is wanting something it's wanting nourishment okay it's wanting stability and you feel a little bit like lost <laughs> lost out of the cold i'm laughing because of the next because the, the next card Okay, you feel a little lost and you're searching for this thing that is going to give you that wand energy. There's the ace of wands, right? What is going to give me, right? Like what project, what is going to be birthed? You know, what is it that's going to get? It's like this creative spark, right? And honestly, spirit, you're really manifesting in like post some kind of like 10 of swords where you felt very betrayed or you felt very pent down or you felt like the world was against you or you felt like you just couldn't you felt like that 10 of wands 10 of swords energy where you just feel like um main female where you just feel like lost right like lost and like this the universe is keeping secrets from you it's kind of what it feels like but you're going to find some type of emotional peace and happiness in this moment this definitely could because because i was guided to talk about the new moon energy the new moon energy is sitting in that high priestess energy it is sitting in that darkness sitting in that possibilities of the unknown of manifesting in right it is a very big energy of manifesting in 
some of you made some kind of wish or some kind of something and it's coming to pass like this this energy of this new moon that just that just passed is really manifesting this energy and something has happened this ace of wands moment has happened here you could be searching for a way forward because that's what i felt when i put down this high priestess card and i touched it i heard a way forward a way forward towards peace towards contentment towards emotional satisfaction right getting your wish fulfillment and having a, a brand new, a whole new world, right? And there, there's that Queen of Pentacles, uh, not Queen of Pentacles, sorry, Queen of Wands energy, right? And kind of, it's kind of like sitting on the throne, right? Like here in the King of Wands energy, you are going out there and you're putting it, you know, into plan. And in the Queen of Wands energy, it's like, I know I have the strength to step into this King of Wands energy, to do it, to put it into motion, Right? And it could also be about feeling this feeling of accomplishment afterwards, right? Feeling this feeling of making it through. Because I'm trying to figure out, I'm like, yeah, because it's more of that feminine, like sitting in that feminine energy and finding a quiet confidence. This could also be about understanding and having a little bit more of a subtle type of confidence where maybe perhaps you've always felt like you like you were always supposed to have this very kind of like masculine confidence. But this could be about you finding some kind of type of more like sensitive or a little bit more quiet confidence, right? Because that's what that is there with the high priestess and the queen of wands it's like i don't have to show everybody my hand i don't have to know everything i can keep some secrets to myself sometimes you know sometimes keeping it to myself is the stronger position you know the king of wands is always going to be like i know your plans and i know what you're doing and the queen of wands might know your plans might know what you're doing but they might play you know they might play a little closer to the chest right it's like a different type of strategy in conquering what you want so maybe you tend to be in one or the other. And this is about learning to have balance. Like maybe sometimes you have, you always have too much of a quiet confidence and sometimes you need to plan and step into that masculine energy and step forward. This is about finding the balance between those energies, right? Because you are pulling a very balance between feminine and masculine energy. And here, here, ooh, wow. 10 of pentacles in the freaking sun card. Come on now. This is definitely about some kind of long-term stability and long-term success and long-term happiness, right? It's kind of like almost like how I was talking about how your keys to success is like following that passion, following that drive, finding that happiness. Follow your happiness and that will lead you to your Ten of Pentacles, right? Because for a lot of you, you are searching for the Ten of Pentacles in order to give you happiness and spirit is saying you need to flip and flop it around, right? Like follow your happiness and that will lead you to your Ten of Pentacles, Yeah, your spirit guides are definitely stepping forward. Yeah, a particular spirit guide stepping forward saying, you know, like, people always struggle with this. They struggle with this materialism of the 3D world of thinking there's something in the 3D that's going to make me happy, right? Things in the 3D, things in this Ten of Pentacles energy, that's what gives me happiness. That's what gives me success when really it's the other way around. It's like being in that happy, jovial, satisfied energy right? is what brings in more success. It what, uh, is what attracts, it what magnetizes you, right? When you're happy and you're, you know, you're, you're, you're being able, you're not as stressed and you're being able to kind of go out there and like be very hopeful and jovial and also already, you know, the, the, the sun card is also about, you know, shedding light on things that are right there in front of you, right? The moon is about hiding things that are right there in front of you. And the sun is about shining light, uh, you know, having those realizations. And sometimes those realizations can be things that are completely hidden to you. But sometimes it's things that were right in front of you that you just didn't, you didn't quite see, right? You were kind of blinded to it because of your emotions or because of the situation. And it's like, wow, it was right there in front of my face, right? And so for some of you, it is about having a lot of gratitude in the moment of finding satisfaction, even if you're not exactly where you want to be, your relationship or your success level or your money isn't exactly where you want it to be, finding those those moments of making yourself happiness, you know, and not the type of kind of like self, not um, self-indulgent happiness, but in a sense of, of finding genuine things that really, really do make you happy and finding 
the time and the energy to really give to yourself, to show up for yourself, to show up for your own happiness, you know? And then that, following that is really what is going to nourish you enough to open up and allow you to really, because it's really that. You think it is the lack of 10 of this 10 of Pentacles that's stopping this energy, that's keeping you stuck in this five of Pentacles energy, right? But really, it's your, it's your lack of happiness. And you could think, well, I would be happy if I have this. And Spirit is saying, no, you need to be happy to really truly get this because if you're chasing after this and you're saying this is what's going to make me happy and then you get this there's going to be there's still going to be something there's going to be the next thing it's like oh well i want to make this okay so you get that well now now i need the next thing you know you're conditioning yourself to think i have to be working towards this specific goal to attain the specific goal to in order to allow myself to be happy and spirit is saying like no you can't do that you have to strive towards your happiness and when you strive towards that contentment towards that happiness even if you are not at your goal right be happy now be happy in the present don't focus every, on everything on healing the past, you know, trying to heal the past and then trying to put yourself into the pre, uh, to the to the future. Right. Oh, that's putting my happiness off into the future. Once I reach this goal, you know, it's like I can't be happy now because I will be happy in the future. You know, and it's like it's like time theft, you know, it's like it's wasting your time. It's actually keeping you separated from the things that you actually really want. Right. Yeah, the spirit said, even if I gave you those things, you know, you'd be so trained to be dissatisfied in the place that you are, that you would always need that next thing. And that really has to change. That really, really has to change because it's weighing so heavily on your mind, right? Yeah. You have this expectation of, of kind of the journey looking like, Oh, um, oh, this will come in my sudden wealth, my gift, my gifts will come in, and then I can start on my journey. Then I can go on my journey. And spirit is saying, like, it's the other way around. Like, you're gonna have to start on your journey and find the sudden wealth as you're going along your journey. It's finding and enjoying the process, enjoying the journey, enjoying the pathway there just as much as you enjoy the destination. Right, because one day you're gonna look up and realize that your life has passed you by and you haven't allowed yourself to be happy because it's always about what's that next thing, what's that next thing, and then I reach that next thing. There's no celebrating, there's no yes, I did it, I feel content. There is just okay, I have it now, now what's the next thing? Okay, I have it now, now what's the next thing? Okay, I have it now, now what's the next thing? Because you're conditioning your mind to only have that dopamine response, to only have that happiness response when you're in under the circumstances of experiencing that win right but it's going to be an instant gratification only in that moment and it's like you could be gratifying yourself now you could feel good now and you could feel good later or you could just feel good later so which one do you want you know and this is about changing your mindset along the way i really also feel like for some of you for some of you this is about losing some some pride or some kind of ego or some kind of like boastful energy here. It's like the difference between being like, I only feel happy once I'm out there conquering and, and discovering new things and, and doing that. Or can I feel, can I feel confident sitting on my throne where I am now? You know? Hmm. Yeah. Oh, that's it. Yes. I was just, I was just thinking, I was like, I love how spirit will flip and flop like the, like, like certain cards will mean something and it will already be out on the table. And then a little bit later as you're like, kind of, as I'm going through it and I'm digging it and unpacking it, like those same cards will take on a different meaning. And I was like, it's so beautiful to see the journey, you know, to pick up the little pieces along the way. And spirit's like, exactly, exactly. Right. The journey is beautiful having appreciation for the journey and believe me i do understand that it can be hard right because sometimes the journey feels as tower moments as you getting your ass kicked as you fighting with your with your family and your in-laws and with yourself and with your fears you know wanting to chase after your desires overcoming past traumas and things like that that doesn't feel great while you're doing it right it feels better once you're on the other side of it and you know but it's about 
getting to a point where you can feel a little bit more jovial, where you can still be happy about the little things and about the little wins and to change your mindset. You know, it makes a big difference in your stress level and how much you're carrying, how you see things, the, your perception of things, right? Because you're because things might not go to your plan. It might not be what you want, but it might be what you need if you allow yourself to discover along the way, right? Because that's where the beauty of the journey really comes is like naturally going along the way and then being like, oh, I didn't expect that. That was beautiful. What a wonderful little discovery. I found this out about myself or I found this little spot or I found this little place or I found this thing that I really, really love or I find this person that I really, really love. You know, I found that new friend or I found that new hobby or it, and, and it's so unexpected and I didn't see it coming and life is beautiful. In those moments, there is this, oh, I love the, like, the beautiful, what seems like chaos, but is really, you know, on a higher level kind of, you know, a greater plan. Um, but you don't always have to know the greater plan. This journey is a lot about keeping in mind, living with discernment, but not living so much in your mind that you're so like looking for the clues and looking for the things that you're not enjoying the journey, right? That you're not just, because as you're looking down, looking for the clues, you miss the fact that you walked by this like beautiful hedge that had these gorgeous flowers on it, you know, and it would, and you would have been like, oh, that, that flower is such a beautiful color. I want to go over there. I want to smell it. Oh, and then the smell of it, you know, invokes a memory or invokes, uh, like for me, like sometimes like that, like I'll see something like that. And I'm like, oh, that's so beautiful. And I'm like, I love that color. And I'll take a picture of it, you know, and I might be like, oh, I want to do a drawing or I want to create a project or something around this color because it's just so gorgeous or this this energy, you know, I want to capture the energy of this moment because it's so beautiful. But if you're there, like looking, 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 you just walk past that beautiful hedge and you just miss that whole moment. You miss that whole moment of creativity. You miss that whole ace of wands energy because that's how spirit, you know, the beauty is in those, those subtle times like that. So there's something here about, it's like, enjoy those little moments because they pass by and, you know, you got to find ways to feel happy and feel satisfied along the way. That's what spirit just keeps saying along the way. And that's a big message for you. Feel satisfied along the way, along the journey. I'm feeling this like, he like heavy feeling in my shoulders, this tension. So it's kind of that. And that's kind of like the 10 of wands energy for me. So this is heavy masculine energy. Okay. Maybe this is a part of you working through your sh uh, some shadow masculine energy for you. Yeah. Imprisonment. And I'm getting, with this imprisonment card, I'm getting this energy is like trapped in your body. So like moving your body around, maybe even like getting a massage, moving your body around, doing some kind of activity that like really like rotates and like gets the energy moving around your body, get up, go for a walk, get out there, see the world, you know. Some of you, okay, so I'm just going to say this, like some of you have been spending way too much time like indoors, like locked away, like I see you like working on a project or like working over a computer or something like that and spirit is like, Look and see how in this, like, look, the sun is shiny. Look, it looks like a beautiful day outside, but this person has their back turned to it. And look over here, the peace lily is here too. And this person has their back turned to the sun, turned to this energy, turned to this peace, this enlightenment and this peace and prosperity because they're so concerned being in their mind, you know, because they're all hung up with what's going on in their mind and they're not turning around and being like, wow, it's a beautiful day. You know what? I need to go for a walk. It's just going to kind of get it out, you know? Oh, I need to go outside. Oh, I need to go plant in my garden. Oh, I need to go go to the park. Oh, you know what? Uh, a friend of mine invited me to come out, but I have all this going on in my mind and I just want to sit here in my dark house and just like, mm, like hermit away in a negative way, right? And it's like, no, go out there, get out there, get the fresh air, get around people that, that bring like liveliness and happiness into your life, you know, concentrate on those things instead of, you know, sometimes you really do have to back away and give yourself a break from it. Sometimes you really do have to kind of put it down 
And, you know, because sometimes in our healing journey, our healing requires like active, like proactive learning or proactive like healing where we are purposely very much so doing things to heal. And then sometimes our healing journey is about us just being in the more feminine healing energy and being a lot more kind of just like, I'm out there, I'm enjoying, I'm feeling, I'm allowing the motions to flow, I'm allowing my body to move around and flow. And that is just as much, you know, going out and laughing and having a good time with your friends is just as important as going to a therapy session. It's just as important as, you know, sitting down and working through shadow work, through journaling or meditating or whatever it is, you know, having that part and having that connection to life, you know, to living um, is important and to not get stuck off, you know, in your head and like keep everything like locked away inside and keep yourself locked away inside, you know, get out there and live. There's also a thing here too about, I'm hearing spirits say something about like letting other people's problems like be their problems. Like, of course, yes, be there for emotional support and things like that of your friends and family. But there is something around that. Wow. Come on now. Look, there you are journaling. I just said that, right? You're inking the pen and the paper, right? But you're here all locked away and it's all raining and everything and you're keeping yourself all, all locked away and all shut up tight. You're keeping this energy all inside when spirit's saying, release it, let it go. Look, the cat's like, look, look, let's go. It looks like it's actually stopped raining. You know, we don't have to stay locked and imprisoned inside anymore. Let's go, you know? We don't have to keep this all locked away inside of us. We could get it out. We could work it out in some type of way. Maybe through, like I said, through some kind of individual therapy, talk therapy, um, hypnotherapy, um, but also not just that, also just getting out there and enjoying your life, doing the things you really enjoy, doing the things you really love, going out there and spending good times with friends and family, you know, um, going out there and finding friends and family to have good times with, right? Yeah. And just kind of cultivating, cultivating your garden kind of energy, right? Again, be going out there, being outside, getting that clear that clarity. It's really important for you right now. Get out of your head. Spirit is saying you've kept yourself trapped in your head for far too long. Get out of your head. Get out of your head. Get out of your body. Um, in a healthy way. In some kind of healthy way. Page of Swords. Yeah, for some of you, spirit is definitely saying like it's time to emerge out of a hermit energy, out of a kind of like cold and locked away energy. It's kind of almost like step into the spring of your life or step into the harvest energy of your life. Message. That's a big message for you, okay? I can't even put it back in the stack. You need to listen to this, okay? Marriage. This is a part of a contract here for you. You could also have some type of, look, I said earlier that that energy in the past was like a thief energy for you. You could also have like a new energy coming in. It could be a soulmate energy. Now this person could, this, it could be a person. It could be a mindset. It could be a job. It could be a place. It could be an activity. It could be an animal. You know, it could, it, yes, it could be a person, um, a family member, a lover, a friend, for some of you, it could be a child here. Yeah, you're about to go on a journey. Look, look how this, look how that cat is like, meow, come on, let's go on this journey. Let's go. You're being guided. And then look, I said, right, like this is happening right now, especially like how the fall, the energy, the changing of leaves in the background and stuff. I'm definitely being guided towards that. I'm hearing make a plan and focus. You're being got you're being called by something forward here. Woo! For a ten of, for a ten of cups. And spirit is like, but you're so busy. Like I said, you're like, oh, I just oh, I just think you're just thinking about it. you're thinking about it way too hard. You're thinking about it, you're concentrating on it way too hard. You need to like get out of your head. Yeah, get out of your head, get into your body, get into the present moment, get into the things that are happening right here in front of you, because you're out of it right now. Page of Cups. Get playful. 
get playful. You know, there's something here about it's like you you've been taking this way too serious. Which I know <laughs> for some of you are like, are you serious? Because spirits like take it seriously, get into it, start doing it, plan it, and then you're like, okay, and then spirits like, whoa, not that serious. Get a little playful. You gotta have balance, right? You gotta have a good work life balance. You gotta have a good spout, you know, balancing spirituality and practicality. You you can't be on the spirit journey twenty four hours a day all the time, you know? Like stay stay aware, stay discerning, but at the same time, you know, like walk for, walk forward in your knowledge and, and have your wits about you, right? But also like have a good time. Don't don't become like in yeah, like spirits want me somebody like locked away, like reading and writing and doing stuff, but then so you're you're like gathering up all this knowledge, but then it's like what good is it that you know all this knowledge, but you're not but you're never leaving, right? You're just sitting there. I'm just it's they're just showing me like this uh like metaphor of somebody just like sitting there in a library just reading and reading and reading and reading and reading and they're just sitting there for years just reading and reading and reading as their life goes by and then they go out and they're like i found the solution to this problem and everybody's just like huh what are you even talking about all the rest of us have been out here you know like living while you've been caved away reading or it's it's it's, it's like this energy of like what good is the knowledge if you're just gonna sit there yeah. Or they're showing me the person not never even coming out, just reading and reading. It's like, oh, I know all this knowledge now. I know all of this. This is amazing. But then you don't do anything with it. You just die, sit there, but you die, sit there in the library. It's like, okay. So nobody even knows. Nobody even knows your discoveries or the things that you found or, you know, or, or you know, you never put all the knowledge like into work to actually go out and improve your life or improve the world. You know, you're just sitting there gathering all the knowledge and spirits. Like at some point, you gotta put you gotta put the books down and you gotta put it to action, put it into work. King of Cups. You're in this process here of maturing with this page of cups to this king of cups. Uh, but in a way where you're actually you're actually becoming more casual, more playful, more kinda like What is that song? I got my toes in the water. Ass in the sand. Not a word in the world. A cold bear in my hand. Life is good today. Yeah, so it's like... I don't know who sings that. I've just heard it. I really don't listen to a lot of country music, but that those those lyrics just came to me where it's just like, I'm a little more laid back. I'm a little more kind of just like... I don't let so much weigh on, on me. I can be a little bit more like laissez-faire with life, you know, I was like, okay, I can know it, but I can have like this casual balance. I feel like this that's what this energy is. This energy is a little bit more like, you know, don't be so serious. I see somebody like you're sitting there and they're like, come on, don't be so stiff. And you're like, oh, you're like okay, like I'll get out and dance. Okay. I'll get up and move. Okay. I'll, okay. I'll get out there. I'll go. And you're, and I just see you just kind of like getting all loose. And then like, then the next thing you know, you're just out on the dance floor, like shining bright. And everybody's just like, wow, look at that person. Like, and you're like, was that same like old stiff person that hadn't danced in like years? You know, are you that same person <laughs> that you were just like five minutes ago, but you let go and you're like, oh yes, I've been missing this. Like, there's a part of you that misses that. You miss that version of yourself. You miss that. That There is a part of you that's like, I miss you acknowledging me. I miss you give, being in this energy. I miss you playing and laughing. I miss you being out there. I miss you, you know, being happy and connecting to your, you know, your childhood self and being silly and, you know, everything's been so serious and everything has been so heavy. Like I miss this, you know, I miss that version of you. I miss that. And you know, I need that from you. So yeah, things have just been too hard, too burdensome. Again, there's that that heavy, that dragging feeling. Like something is keeping you dragged down. And it's like sometimes, you know, you just have to, uh, there's a kind of this energy of like, get out there, you know, get out there and shake it off. Um, some of you might've been dealing with some kind of like light, I don't know, 
so it's, you know, some kind of like high anxiety or some kind of depressive, like light depression kind of energy, maybe, you know, where it's not like a full on depressive state, but, or like some kind of like high functioning depression where you're like still kind of going out there and laughing, but it's not really like touching you all the way down to your core, you know, um, that's this energy. That's what this energy is. It's just like, you know what? I'm just going to pick up my easel, and, you know, and I'm just going to start splashing paint around everywhere. And if things get a little bit messy and that's okay, and it doesn't matter because I'm outside and, you know, I'm not in the studio, I'm outside and I'm splashing paint around everywhere and everything's okay because it's biodegraded paint, everything's fine. You know, I'm just having a good time and not worrying about whether or not I sp splatter paint all over my clothes. You know, I got my foot you know, in the sand, again, like I was talking about, right, I'm outside, I'm open, I'm free, and I'm just kind of being silly and being happy and just kind of doing my thing, right? And that's where this, this energy comes in, this the balance, like I said before, right, balancing out this feminine and masculine energy. This is really beautiful, you guys. Ooh, yeah. You're releasing and letting go some kind of like devil energy here, something you've been holding on to, something you've been trying to keep in balance, but spirit is telling you like, stop trying to balance it and just let go. Let go. Some of you have been way too worried about like, yeah, there, it's, it's just like way too worried about like what people will think or what or what to do, or like, will it be accepted? Will it be liked? You know, um, am I going to get praise for this? And, you know, and there's something here where spirits like, don't make it for the gaze of others. Don't worry about what your body looks like for the gauge of, uh, for the gaze of others. What about your gaze? Do you, what do you want? Don't make your art, don't make your whatever for the gaze of others, for the gaze, right? G, like G-A-Z, gaze, right? You know, move and dance and laugh. You know, dance like, what is that saying? Like dance like nobody's watching? Like that's what spirit wants you to do. Like move like nobody's watching, dance like nobody's watching. Who cares, right? There's a side of you that is just like, busting that just like wants to burst out like I just want to be free I just want to just fly I just want to be silly I want to be happy I want to be lighter you know like and you're reaching it's reaching it's reaching it's reaching you know and it that's that's this imprisonment energy that's what it feels like it feels like it's imprisoned right and it's like I just want to be free and this kind of energy here of you feeling like I'm doing it for but what will other people think but what would this person think or that think you know and this could be something where it's in your own mind in your own head you know um like you being a harsh critic for yourself yeah spirit is saying just do it not for the purpose of others do it because it's what you love do it because it makes you feel good do it because you know it what's it's what makes you happy you know do it because it's your dream. Do it because you've always wanted to. Try it because, you know, because it feels right. Not because it feels like you have to do it. There's also something here, too, about dating with that kind of intention as well. Don't date because, don't date somebody or go out on a date with somebody because, well, if I want to find my person, I'm supposed to be out there. I'm supposed to be dating. So don't push yourself to go out on dates with people that you don't actually like that much. Well, just give them a try. You know, if you don't feel it, don't do it, you know, but also don't keep yourself trapped away for the, for the lack of, yeah, there's this, they keep showing me that two of pinnacles. There's just this balance energy and there's that, you know. There's that hermit energy that we've been talking about. Yeah, because you are, you are going to find this, that energy. It's in this energy that you're going to find what you're really looking for. This freedom energy of happiness just being who I am, happiness where I am. That's what this feels like.
yeah, there's this kind of like balance here of like being happy by yourself and also being happy being with other people as well. Finding happiness in both situations here. And finding a balance between both. Because some of you feel like, oh, I'll only be happy if I'm by myself. And some of you feel like I'll only be happy if I'm in a relationship. And you and there, you know, there's this call for balance where it's like, fuck it. Like, I don't care if I don't have a partner. I don't care if, if you know, who who cares if I really if I if I will just say out loud, yes, I want to be with somebody. Yes, I want to have somebody. It's not gonna end the world. You know, I'm not less of a person for wanting to have somebody, right? But also, I don't have to define myself. I don't. I don't have to wait for my partner to come in to be happy. I don't wait. I don't have to wait for to be in that one job to be happy. You know, I'm not gonna stay stagnant, but I'm not going to put my happiness outside of myself. I can choose to be happy right now where I am. Yeah. Oh, there's a lot. There's so much healing energy there for you, judgment, and the star card. Yeah, and with this thief card, I'm also hearing de uh, comparison is the death of happiness. Like, stop comparing yourself and stop listening to other people that are comparing themselves to you, right? We're all on a separate journey. We're all on a separate timeline. We're all on a separate things. Some people are going to experience things before you. Some pe Sometimes you're going to experience things before other people, you know? Don't define your happiness by, you know, by other people's... How do you want me to say this, Spirit? Like, don't define your happiness or your success by other people's parameters, is what Spirit wants to say. Like, don't define yourself. Because I think, I feel like most of you are struggling with, or a lot of you that are going to, like, resonate with this, are struggling with, you know, comparing yourself to the place. Or, or, or you have other people outside of you compare, like, oh, well, your brother has done this by now. You're, or you've, done, you've heard that before. Or just society in general. Like, society in general is like by your age you know you're not supposed to be single again or you're not supposed to still be trying to find a partner or you're you know you're you're in your 50s you can't start a career you can't open a business you can't go back to school you know or you know like you're you're too young you can't be in a relationship you know you're you know you should already be married by now or you know or you know you're too young to get married wait you know it's there's this kind of energy of whatever other people are telling you, like live your life by your parameters, right? They're not the ones that have to live your life. You're the only one that has to live with your regrets. Yeah. Live a life that you're proud of. Live a life that you're proud of. You know? Especially if you feel like, like it's like, oh, I've wasted so much of my life not being happy. You know, like I, I'm i not going to spend one more day living this life in a way that doesn't make me proud, that doesn't make me happy, that doesn't make me feel fulfilled. That's what, kind of what the energy is right now, is like really pushing everybody to live their, their, mo their, their fulfilled life. It's like, I'm really... I'm really honestly tired of the past. I'm tired of the way things have been. I'm tired of struggling or I'm tired of it being this way. I like I have to reach for something else. Like I have to have something else. I have to be walking down a different path, you know? Like I can't. Mm -mm. All right, that's what I have for you. Thank you so much for being here with me today. I know I was kind of like really zoning out there at the end, but I was just like, <laughs> um, but but that's pretty much all the messages that I'm hearing. Thank you guys so very much for being here. I hope that you found the love light or clarity that you're looking for in your situation. Thank you for spending this time with me. Thank you for the likes. Thank you for the shares. Thank you for the donations. Thank you for everything. Um, I really appreciate you guys being here. If you liked it, if you liked it, 
give the content a like, you know, share it if you feel guided to. Comment down below if this resonated for you. Thank you to your spirit guides for guiding you here, okay, to get this information. Thank you to my spirit guides, as always, for helping me deliver this message to you, as well as keeping me safe while I did so. I really appreciate you guys. Thank you so very much. Hey, babies. And I will see you lovelies in the next one, okay? <laughs> Bye.